Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a while. I hope you're good. Today I thought I'd share my 5 years of software engineering wisdom with you. Now, whether you've been a software engineer for some time or you're just starting out, I think some of these tips could help you in some way and even maximize your growth in a specific area. Let's dive right in. First up, a big misconception about programmers is that we live somewhere in a dark basement by ourselves and code alone all day. Let me tell you, that couldn't be further from the truth. And as a matter of fact, communication is much more important than you think. It's not just about writing clean code, it's about effectively sharing your ideas and understanding others. Building relationships with senior engineers is invaluable. Their experience and advice can skyrocket your knowledge. Don't be afraid to ask questions. It shows that you are eager to learn, not that you are not smart. A well-phrased question can save hours of frustration and lead to deeper insights about the project you're working on. Trust me, it happened to me multiple times. Also, imposter syndrome is something almost every software engineer experiences at some point. You might feel like you're not good enough or that you don't belong. But here's the truth. Feeling like an imposter is normal. It might not ever completely go away, but that doesn't mean you are not a capable software engineer. Recognize your achievements, remind yourself of the skills you bring to the table and keep pushing forward. Everyone is learning and growing, and you are no different. I cannot stress this enough, it is perfectly normal to have a slower start at the beginning of your career, or when starting a new job not knowing the code base that well. Give it time. A tip I found when switching jobs is that debugging the application you are working on from end to end will give you a comprehensive understanding of it. Debugging isn't just about fixing errors, it's about understanding the flow of the application and how different components interact. Take the time to trace issues through the entire call stack. This will deepen your understanding and make you a more effective problem solver. Plus, it's a great way to learn about parts of the system you might not be familiar with. Let's talk about balance. It's easy to get consumed by work, especially in a demanding field like software engineering, but maintaining a healthy balance between work and your social life is crucial. Make time to work out, eat healthy, go out with friends and travel. It's important for your mental and physical health. Also, when it comes to finances, find a balance between saving and spending. Enjoy your hard-earned money, but also invest wisely in your future. This is another lesson I learned the hard way. By entering burnout from not taking a vacation in two years, the job will be fine without you for a couple of weeks. Just go enjoy life a bit, you deserve it. Lastly, but most importantly, always strive to improve your technical skills. The tech industry changes at an exponential pace, as you can see, and continuous learning is key. Engage in side projects, take online courses, and always do your best at work. Experiment with new technologies and frameworks. This not only keeps your skills sharp, but also makes you more adaptable to changes in the industry. The more you learn, the more valuable you become as an engineer. I myself started to learn about topics I knew nothing of a few years ago and then moved on to make entire presentations at work about how to work with them. Just take initiative on your own. This is also a good hedge just in case it so happens that your company is doing layoffs as we have seen in this period and you get affected by them. Interviewing will come much easier to you. Falling into a comfort zone is dangerous and it will only do you harm. That is why I try to always keep myself interview ready with programming concepts and lead code questions as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with these topics. Drop a comment below with any other valuable tips you might have. Until next time, cheers and happy coding!